Uh, good morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, let me start with a case study, right? Because uh, there's a lot of discussion, debate, enthusiasm, passion about the subject of smart city. And I must tell you, uh, me personally is quite passionate about this subject. And uh, if, you if you read the recent issue of Data Quest, you will find some of my views. But let me start, start with a, a real case study, OK? Uh, we have started a project in the city of Singapore. And uh, the prime minister of Singapore uh, has a mission. They want to develop what is known as smart nation. And smart city is a subset of the subject of smart nation. Now, I just want to leave one thought with all of you. As far as India is concerned, the challenges are very interesting. Opportunities are huge. We got to understand three types of problems. Number one is, are we talking about converting an existing city into a smart city? Are we talking about creating an absolutely new city, which is absolutely smart? Or are we talking about building satellite city around an existing city, which is smart? So there are three aspects. Now, the first thing which is very important and what we are doing right now in Singapore is creating a digital twin of the city. That's the first step, right? You've got to create a digital twin of the city. Unless you have the digital twin of the city, you will never be able to do a reality check. So what the digital twin of the city have? The digital twin of the city will capture what you see above the surface of the city. And you will also see what is below the surface of the city. And you're going to see it in 3D. And let me tell you, this is not very complex. Recently, one of the chief ministers of one of the states posed this topic that Dr. Chandan, how do we get it started? So we, we, did, we studied one of their cities of one of the states, and we found creating a digital city of cities, digital twin of a city is not difficult. So when you create a digital twin of a city, you will be able to see in three dimensions what is there, the buildings that you have, the traffic system that you have, water system that you have, traffic system that you have, the security system that you have, the pollution that you have, the population that you have, the schools that you have, the hospitals that you have. And, and, and that, that's one aspect of it. But what you don't see today, what is below the surface of the city, which is extremely critical, you will also be able to see that. And let me tell you, you cannot rule out the possibilities of cities in the country where you will have a water pipeline below the city, you will have a sewerage pipeline below the city, and osmosis happening between the two pipelines. And, 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 and the point that I wanted to make, that if you are able to create a digital twin of a city as a step one, then you can use that digital twin to do experiment and understand what intervention, what change do you do to really create a sustainable city? And how your city is going to look like five years down the line, 10 years down the line, 20 years down the line. You can actually shake your city. If your city is in an earthquake, in a seismic zone, you can shake your city to understand what's going to happen to your city if you have an earthquake at 8.5 Richter scale. What will happen to your city and the population of your city if you have tsunami? And all this involves science. All this involves science. And let me tell you, they're not difficult. So, so the point that I wanted to make, the first step towards building a sustainable city for citizens is to create a digital twin of the city, a new city or an existing city, and simulate the changes you want to make 
understand the impact of the changes because the cost of making a mistake in a real physical city is very high. Thank you very much.